Hey guys, I just dropped my phone, hang on. Okay, hey guys, sorry about that. So, um, today we're going to be doing our like July part two speed reviews. In July we tried out a lot of new stuff. So, yeah, now we're just going to, um, we're going to talk about what we tried out. There's a lot to get through. Okay, the first thing, like, I don't really know how to talk about this particular product, but it's like lashes because I didn't specifically try out like each pair individually, but like I did like lash try on. So I'm not going to leave these in like my new stuff drawer and then like, like I'm not going to put them back in the new stuff drawer and then pick them out and do individual like things on them kind of thing. Like I'm just putting them into my makeup collection now. So I'm just kind of going to give opinions based on like a whole, like the like lashes as a whole. And if you want to see individual like opinions and you can go and watch like the lash try on videos. But the first ones were the XO Beauty Foaming Lashes, which I have already tried out before. Um, I love my XO Beauty Lashes. I'm actually wearing some now. These are the Style Flutter. But yeah, I really enjoy XO Beauty Lashes. They're really high quality and they are so comfortable on the lid. They're easy to get on and they just look really nice. Um, I feel like they also have a nice range of like natural lashes, which you guys know that I'm not a big fan of, but they have some really nice natural lashes and then they also have some really like more like full on lashes. So I really enjoy them. The next ones that we tried out with the lashes from Lash Vault, which once again is the same situation. I did like the lash try video, so if you want to see individual opinions, go and check those out. But I was actually really impressed with those as well. They looked really nice. They had some really nice styles. They're a bit more up my alley than the EXO Beauty ones in the sense of like EXO Beauty like I said have more like you know they have their like nice voluminous lashes and then they've got their more natural ones whereas I feel like lash bowl all of them are more full on which is which is a bit of me so yeah really impressed with all of those lashes that I tried and yeah if you want more in-depth opinions then go check out those videos let's get started um NYX Marshmallow Primer this smells so good I did enjoy it um, I feel like I still don't know what it's meant to do, but like it feels nice on the skin and I feel like it looks nice, so I don't know. <laughs> um, I really, really liked this. This was the Marshmallow Setting Spray. Once again, it just smells incredible. Like if they made a perfume of this, I would wear it. Like a body spray or something. So yeah, I did like them. I'm excited to try them out like more. Um, yeah, I did like those products. This I was so, so, so impressed with. This is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara, and I am obsessed. This is one of the nicest mascaras I've tried out, like, recently. And I think it's really nice mascara. So, so affordable as well. So, yeah, I was really happy with that. Um, I tried out... Yes, this. This is the um, Glam Light Camp Crystal Lake palette. This was in their, their collab with Friday the 13th, and I really loved this. I think the colour story is absolutely stunning. I did an individual video on this collection, so if you want to go and watch that, you can. But yeah, I really like this palette. I love ev like all the packaging and stuff. I thought it was really nice. I tried out the Glam Light and Nightmare on Elm Street Blush Trio. And I loved this as well. I used the deeper shade of the palette and it looked so nice. Like, oh! It was such a pretty shade, but yeah, I do really enjoy it. These are so pigmented though, so make sure you keep that in mind. Um, and once again, I did like a whole dedicated video. I feel like I'm out of breath already. Oh my god, okay. Um, I used the XO Beauty Eye Halo. I feel like I used a couple, but... Anyway, this one's in the shade Pinch, and I really like the formula of, the formula of these. They're really, really nice, and they look so pretty in the eye, and they're also really easy to work with. So I do enjoy those. This palette. This is the P. Louise If Looks Could Chill palette. And oh, guys. Uh, oh, I cannot. It's so stunning. Like, obsessed. Obsessed. Um, yeah, I love this palette. I thought it was amazing. One, obviously, the colour story is just... Oh, I could honestly, like... When I die, bury me with this palette because it's just so beautiful, like I cannot. But yeah, and you guys know that I love a good P. Louise formula, so I thoroughly enjoyed this palette. I thought it was very nice. And then we also tried out the P. Louise Money Shop palette. Once again, is that not 
the prettiest thing you've ever seen. You guys know I love my greens. That is like the second row. So yeah, obsessed. I love both of these palettes. I thought they were amazing. I have dedicated videos on both of these. So if you want to check that out, they are up. Tried out the Glam Light and Friday the 13th highlight. It's so pretty. It is a joy chrome. And I've said it before, I really want to see a nice highlight from Glam Light that isn't a duo chrome because they love their duo chromes over there. Or like their like holographic kind of highlighters. But anyway, it's a really nice formula and I did really like it. And then we tried out the Colourpop and Lizzie McGuire. The Colourpop and Lizzie McGuire pressed powder blush in Delish. So cute. I love the packaging of this palette. I mean, of this blush. How cute is that? I love Lizzie McGuire and this is so cute. It's a really nice blush shade. Tried out the Lip and Cheek Balm from Colourpop in Hearts Content and I absolutely love this formula. It's one of my favourite blush formulas ever and this shade is stunning and yeah, it just, the way it melts onto the skin, it's gorgeous. Tried out these two um, lipsticks. Well, I tried out one of them on the lips but I swatched the other one. These are from the um, Nightmare on Elm Street collection with Glam Light. And they're a really nice formula. I did really enjoy them and the colours that they chose was super pretty. The one that I actually used on my lips was the lighter of the two. This is like a mauve kind of shade and it's absolutely stunning. Oh my god. I don't know if I realised that before that it has a Nightmare on Elm Street like pressed into it. That's so cute. Anyway. So yeah, I did really enjoy those. I also used the Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger palette from Glam Light. I did enjoy this one. I didn't love the look that I did. Like, it was alright, but it wasn't my favourite. I think I just... Go watch the video. It's a bit of a mess, but... Yeah, the colour story of this is saying... But... <laughs> I kind of just mucked up my eye look. I don't know what happened there. Um, what else did we use? This is the Glam Light and Friday the 13th little um, lip kit. I did really like this one, actually, I think. Yeah, it was really pretty. Sorry, I'm just, I feel like I've tried out so many lip products, I'm just trying to remember. Yeah, it was nice. Um, and once again, the packaging, so great. This is the She Glam and Care Bears Liquid Liner. They're called the Sweet Wishes Coloured Eyeliner. This one was in the shade Sweeter Sugar. I did like it, but they're just a little bit hard to use. Like, they're really pigmented and the um, colour's nice, but they're just hard to use on the eye. Like they don't glide in the eye super nicely they kind of get stuck and it's hard to get a super precise wing but yeah this is the harry potter and she glam palette this is the gryffindor one and i think i liked it i think i did i can't remember now but i feel like i did um i feel like all of the she glam eyeshadows that i've tried out have been quite subtle and just like very soft shades kind of thing like not the actual shades but like when you put them on the eye they're soft if that makes sense um and i think this might have been the same i can't really remember but i feel like i did get a nice eye look with it also from she glam this is another one of the little care bears blushes and this one is so stunning i actually really really like this shade i think this was called tickled pink but it, don't quote me i cannot remember because I don't have the shade names on them, unfortunately. But yeah, I just think this is such a pretty shade. Also from She Glam, I tried out the Stick Foundation. I didn't love it. I need to use it again, because I'm pretty sure I've only used it like once or twice. I can't really remember. But this is the Skin Magnet High Coverage Foundation Stick. I'm going to give it more of a go. But yeah, it wasn't my favourite foundation that I've ever used. It also wasn't the worst, but yeah. Just was my favourite. Um, this is the Harry Potter and She Glam Magic Elixir Lip Gloss in Felix Flexus. It's such a pretty shade. And I love the bottle. Like, I'm obsessed with the packaging. I think it looks nice on the lips. I know that it went a bit, um, like, you know, when they kind of, like, like, gather up at your lips and then you have this weird kind of, like, yucky, like, I don't even know how to explain it. But, yeah, like... I don't know if the formula is amazing, like it's nice, but it also has that bit where like, how do I explain it? You know when it kind of like bunches up on your lips and then you've got like this weird ring of like lip gloss? I don't know. When you talk it kind of like forms. Try out the She Glam Luna Glow Highlighter. This one was in the shade... Was this Tea Cake? I think it might have been. This is That's another thing, they also don't have the shades on this, but anyway. Um, I did really like it. It was super blinding. And yeah, really nice highlight if you love 
um, I like blinding blue highlight. I tried out this velvet luxe, um, like luxe velvet lipstick from ColourPop. This one was in the shade on a roll. Oh, I was like, why don't I remember using this? I know why I remember why I don't remember using it because I put it on and then I was like, this is not for me. Oh, I don't know. I feel like it just didn't match me very well, which is a shame because it looks like such a beautiful shade. But yeah, I love the formula, but it's just not for me. Tried out these So Juicy Plumping Glossy Lip Oils from Colourpop and I loved these so much. I did a lip swatch video on them and yeah, I think they're really nice. My only critique is the packaging, like, it's hard to get the doe foot out so sometimes when you pull it out, like, product goes flying. But yeah, they smell really nice, they look like minty. And yeah, just looked so nice on the lips. Loved those. Also tried out this Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain and I actually really enjoyed this. I thought it was really nice. This one's in the shade Love Bite. Um, and I think that was my first time trying one of the Colourpop lip stains. But yeah, they looked really nice. I did really enjoy it. Um, I used the NYX Fat Oil Lip Drip. I really liked this as well. This was similar to like this Colourpop plumping lip gloss thing. Except this one I feel like wasn't as plumping. But it also doesn't... Does it claim to be plumping? I don't know. But anyway, I really, really liked that as well. Tried out this NYX Milky Gloss in... Chocolate Shake. Oh, it smells incredible and it looked really nice. Try out these two lip liners from P. Louise. We have one in Truly Scrumptious and the other one was in Treat Week and I really liked both of these. P. Louise do really nice lip liners, so it's good. Try out this Glam Radar um, eyeliner. This one was in the shade Lovely. I really wanted to like it. It's such a pretty shade, but I just couldn't really get it to work the way I wanted it to. Um, so yeah, but that definitely could have been a user error because I'm only kind of just starting to know how to use these. So. Um, I used the Colourpop blush stick. This one was in the shade Cottage Life. This was super cute. It's a really nice, like, neutral blush shade, and yeah, love it. Formula is really nice as well. I used the P. Louise Dream Droplets Liquid Highlight in Pot of Gold. I think I liked it. I can't really remember. I think the formula for this is alright. I can't remember though, like, specifically. Like, I don't think there's anything to write home about, but I think it's nice. Um, I used the MAC Lipstick in Taupe. It's a really pretty shade. Love it. This was a big gimmick. This is the Harry Potter and She Glam Glitter Lipstick. It's the Herbologist Lipstick. And you have this beautiful glitter all on the outside of it. And you're like, oh my god, that looks like the like, most stunning lipstick ever. But it's just overspray. It's actually like a black lipstick. And it's just not... Like... For me, it's like kind of like it looks like a black lip balm. It's just not my vibe, so that's probably gonna get decluttered. And then the last thing we tried out was the um, Huda Beauty Toffee Brown Obsessions, and I think I liked this. It was pretty, as far as I remember. I feel like there was a bit of trouble blending, but I think I think that might have been my fault. So that was everything. I feel like I'm so out of breath right now. But yeah, so we tried so much stuff this month, guys. Like. Well, last month now but yeah there's a lot of new stuff to try out so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye